Getting ready to go to New Mexico. So we're at our first stop in Barstow. It's almost 2 a.m. and there are so many chargers. I wanna say over 40. You have a bunch of these fast chargers and then so many of the newer home chargers right next to an outlet and a Holiday Inn. We're in Baker right now. It's probably what, what time is it? 4.16. 4.16 a.m. There's a lot of chargers here. And then all on this side too. <laughs> um, they have a 24 hour gas station. Restrooms are kind of sketchy. <laughs> yeah. There's a Dairy Queen and also a Juicy Mike's, but they're both closed right now, so early. This cost six dollars some reason. Six dollars for a little can of coffee. I got it wrong. So, double check. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else out here, just the gas station, and it's all just desert. And then I think this is the last stop before Kingman. So right now we're on our way to northern New Mexico. So we're gonna try and fill up as much as we can because there's the next stop's so at far. Kingman. Yeah. Okay. So we're having a restroom break right now. It's six o'clock. It's a casino McDonald's. <laughs> we're currently in Nevada at the bottom, the tip of right. Nevada. Little bottom point. Just having a restroom break and then going straight to Kingman. at the Kingman charging spot right now and there's a swarm surrounding us. It looks like giant flying ants. They're above us. You see that? Alright, ready? I'm gonna go fast. Then, there. You can't, oh my god. Oh my god. And then they're on the floor. That black stuff right, right there. It's moving. It's them. So, definitely don't want to go outside, but there's a cross street right there. There's like, I want to say five charging spots, maybe six, and then businesses around. But jeez, ew. And it looks like they have stinkers. Oh my god. Oh my god! So we're at the Supercharger in Flagstaff 
and there's only like what 10 chargers there's like 12 12 chargers like it's right next to this hotel oh my god the restrooms are the best restrooms that i've seen so far nice and clean and it's really beautiful over here a lot of trees it smells good yeah now we're walking to starbucks and river is leading the way with her little exercise shoes <laughs> The closest Starbucks to the charging station is in the bashes. It's inside. Okay, then if you watch my videos, we have these hot dill pickles. Hot pickles <laughs> in the bashes for $1.29 and it's huge. That's it. Okay, River, you got your matcha? Matcha latte with oat milk. With oat milk? How is it? How do you rate it? It's too hot, but it's very good. It's like, <laughs> I'd say like nearly an eight for me. Oh. I an think, eight from I River. Think coffee bean is better though. These trees have fruit, they have apples so cool and so cow there's no way you'd find a tree on a street that has fruit so we have 87 percent right now and if we leave we can get to the next supercharger and we'll get there with 48 percent in an hour and a half so if you're hungry here, they have an all garden and a red lobster that's close. And then they also have a huge Walmart that's just across the street. So right now we're at the Holbrook charging station. You drove that section. There is, I want to say, oh, there's actually a lot of charging spots over there. It's pretty empty. There's only one other Tesla right now. Um, it's in a Burger King parking lot, so there's a Burger King, and across the street it looks like there's a Circle K, but other than that, there's like not that much around, but at least there's restrooms and food. So we're going to charge, and then the next stop is going to be Gallup in New Mexico, and right now we're just going to watch some Netflix. I'm eating my cracker. <laughs> I'm eating my cracker. What kind of cheese? Gets Rosemary Triscuits with cheese. Mega cheese. So we just got to the Gallup charging station and there's eight spots, but two are broken and it's completely full. Every spot is taken up, all six spots that are available. There's a hotel right here in the same lot. And then there's a shell across the street, but crossing might be a little sketch. We saw this guy at the last stop the and he also. had the cutest dogs. Okay, update. David just tried to Would use the restroom the and it's and closed. So the only other option would be to go across the street I'm glad we to the shell. So we just got here to the Farmington charging station and it's next to i believe it's a marriott you have to walk up there and then up there and then 
The entrance is like kind of far, but not really, maybe a few minutes. There's only four chargers here and it's empty. And it's honestly kind of like hidden away. It's tucked behind the Marriott. And there's no signs that say that the charging station is over here. Yeah, it's kind of hidden. And then there's some places around, just like if you walk down the street or around the block, there's like, I can see from here, a Blake's Lotta Burger. And I think there's a Walmart over there and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, this is our last charging spot. Just gonna charge up and then head to the Bloomfield House. Hear the screaming? <laughs> Lonnie? I'm getting ready right now, but I thought that I'd just give a little update. Later, we're gonna go to a place, I think, Kirtland? Kirtland? I don't know, we're gonna look at some beadwork, probably get some earrings. Um, and then today's mostly just a chill day because we had such a long drive yesterday. It was over, I wanna say, over 13 hours of driving from SoCal to North New Mexico. But yeah, it's just a chill day. And then this week we're probably gonna go to Durango or Hesperus in Colorado. And then we're also planning a trip to Colorado Springs. So hopefully we'll do that this week and or next week. But hopefully we'll do that Sea Guard of the Gods, Shine Mountain Zoo. But yeah, that's just the update for today. It's mostly just a chill day looking at beadwork and stuff. Okay. We're on our way to the beading place right now and it's 5.34 p.m. So we're gonna- it's three. We're gonna go to the beading place and check out all of the earrings and stuff. Okay. That's out there. So we're at this pizza place, Pizza 9 in Farmington. And I guess there's Chicago style pizza? Chicago style in Farmington. So we'll see how that is. Whole family's here pretty much. 